Hello, hello, hello. I am Spiritual Life Coach Patricia Booker here with Kingdom Business. When we are empowered, when we heal, we get delivered and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. First, I want to take the time out to say thank you for viewing my videos. Thank you for all the likes, for all the subscribes, for the shares, for the financial contributions to my channel, for the seeds you saw into my ministry, and for all of the bookings and purchases of my course. I really appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. So, you know, I'm here to drop this beat, this word, this message. So, here it is, you all. Some of you may have noticed that my sunglasses are crooked, that my wig is crooked. Guess what? Look at these nails. I need to go get them done. Going in a little bit <laughs> today. <laughs> my point here is this. Sometimes things might be off and that's okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix myself up. I just wanted to make a point. Because sometimes your wig is crooked. And yes, I am fixing it on camera. You know why? Because I can. And I'm okay with that. Which is my point. I'm making a point here, people. Kingdom people. And the point is you are fine just the way you are. Sometimes your stuff may be crooked. Your wig may be crooked. Sometimes your glasses may be crooked. Sometimes you may have a little lipstick up here. Sometimes you might have a little lipstick on your teeth. Sometimes your shirt might be hanging. You feel me? Sometimes you might have some on your face. Sometimes you might have some on your nose. Sometimes you might have some in your teeth. Now, I'm not saying this be out here any kind of way. But what I'm saying is sometimes things are a little off. And that's okay. It does not take away from who you are or how God sees you. As long as you show up and you show up presentable. As long as you do your best, sometimes things are going to be off. I know I've been in situations where I be going through things and it's just be rough time, you know, just really working through things. And I still got to keep it moving and keep kind of showing up and doing what I need to do. And sometimes I might look a little bit rough. Sometimes my hair might be kind of <laughs> all over the place. My wig in this case. And lately. Um, but... It's, so what? So what? I mean, you do your best and God will take care of the rest. And so, you know, this has just really been on me. It come to me here and there. It's been coming to me here and there for a while, but it was like really strong on me today. And God was just kind of showing me how, bringing to me how people be looking for something wrong with you. You know, like just trying to dissect you to find something wrong with you and if they find something like oh that's her hair her weed crooked oh she got on a cheap wig or whatever because <laughs> people be tripping like that it was just really showing me that how people would go through extremes to find something wrong with you to make themselves feel better about you i'm gonna say that again people will go through extremes to find something wrong with you to feel better about themselves, really, where they're concerned, where it concerns you. It's the same thing of people having to tear you down, feeling the need to tear you down, to build themselves up. And we know that tearing someone down don't really build you up. I mean, in a moment, you fight, might, might think you feel good, but really, you feel bad about yourself at the very fact you feel a need to tear somebody down. Now, let me say this. If somebody is minding their business, they just going on about their business, they not bothering you, they not out here murdering nobody, killing nobody, stealing, none of that. And if they are, let the law take care of that. If they are, report them. If you know of something that they're doing horrible. But to tear them down or try to find something wrong with them when there's no reason to, Unless you feel a certain way about yourself. Means you need to check yourself. And deal with yourself. Now I'm going to switch gears here. And talk to my people. My kingdom people. Who may experience some of this. And you may know. 
And nine times out of ten, you don't care. And if you do, you shouldn't. Because people who don't know who they are and not secure in who they are, and they see that you are, they're going to do that. They're going to find something wrong with you. Try to. And we have plenty of things that we need to work through. The fact of the matter is that we're doing that. And that is what they don't do. So, I'm really wanting to just say, they're going to be looking for something wrong. And it's okay. It's okay if it is something off. Because you're still human. Everything is not always going to be perfect. The point is that you do your best. And what God really gave me today is this. You just show up and do what I'm telling you to do. And that's what matters. As long as you're presentable. Because we in the week, us kingdom people ain't no bums. So we just not coming up on and doing anything any kind of way. We're not just walking around here looking any kind of way. Because we know who we are. And we don't even feel, we don't even operate in that kind of a way. Like just carrying ourselves any kind of way. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking right now of people who maybe not are up to par. And you know how people like to make fun of people, you know, may, that may not be up to par, like dress wise. Um, just maybe a little raggedy. Let me just say that. Not knocking nobody. I'm saying this to make a point to say, if they're not bothering nobody, because everybody just not that. Everybody is not, you know, if a person is what someone would consider a bum or just not as presentable as you, if they're not bothering nobody, what is it to, to you? You see what I'm, what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like, let them mind their business. But if a person feel the need to say, ooh, they this and ooh, they that, and they going about their business, again, they not out here murdering, killing, stealing, just out here being a savage in a negative way. Um, You know, so what? So again, someone that needs to do that, is doing that, has, they need, they're trying to find a way to feel good about themselves by finding something someone else to put down and look down on and in this case for us kingdom people because we're kingdom people they're trying to find something wrong with you they're trying to find something off if you have something on your face I'm like oh look 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 they'll make a real big thing out of that but this is really where I'm going with this I just had to you know, and warm up to here. God sees you perfect. Yes, we are not perfect people, but yet we are imperfect, but we are perfect in God. God sees us as perfect people. So he don't care nothing about that. And not just that, what matters to God the most is that you show up. And yeah, be presentable, absolutely. But you show up and do his work. What is God calling you to do? Are you doing that? That's what matters to God the most. And he gave me this scripture to um, confirm that. And it is Ephesians 2 and 10. And it says, for we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So, we are his masterpiece. He created us to do what he planned for us to do. So, as long as you're doing what he's telling you to do, what he planned for you to do, he see you as perfect. You are his masterpiece, created anew in Christ Jesus. Follow the plan, what he's telling you to do. Again, as long as you're presentable, you're good. But, I don't know. I want to say we kingdom people don't care about this, that kind of stuff. When people are doing that and trying to tear you down and break us down. And I know I don't. I don't care. I'm one who don't care about what people think. Praise God. Um, like I just stated, I know when people do that, first of all, they feel small about themselves and they feel a need to 
build themselves up by trying to find, make you small or find something small or find something wrong with you. I know this. So, you know, it's not really an issue for me, but it was on my spirit. And what I'm getting is that some people that may watch this video struggle with that. And you care about what people think. It may bother you that people are doing that to you. And, and you have to come to a place of being free from people and what they think. And what they, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say it feels good. But you have to know who you are and walk in that. You literally have to get free from people. And if you need help with that, I can actually help you with that. That is some of what I do as well. So reach out to me by email at kingdomtrisha at gmail.com. Um, if you really do need help with that, you need to get free from people. Because you have to see yourself as God sees you. People going to be people. People that are doing that are not... I'm just going to put it like this. They don't matter. They're irrelevant. There are people out here that operate like that. And it doesn't matter. You cannot let what people think and say and feel about you affect you and how you feel about yourself. I'm going to say this. God has already validated you. God has already accepted you. So you don't need validation from no one else. You don't need acceptance from no one else. You validate yourself. You accept you. If God accepted you and validated you, you do that for yourself. It doesn't matter what people say and think. And I do understand that sometimes this may come from loved ones. Even then, it's the same thing. They're trying to tear you down. And I wanted to say nine times out of ten, but I just heard no ten times out of ten. It's jealousy. You have to understand people don't want you to walk in your divine calling. They don't want you to be who God created you to be, especially if they're not doing that. They don't want you to do that. So they'll do everything they can to tear you down, even if it's not in your face. Even if they're talking about you behind your back, it's still the same thing. They're trying to tear you down to feel better about themselves. So, yeah, I just felt the need to come and just say, you will find just how you are. God sees you as perfect. I'm hearing he created you in his image and in his likeness, even though some things happened since then. <laughs> well, we had to be reconciled back to him through Christ. It is still what it is. As long as you are in Christ, he sees you as perfect. Even if your wig is crooked, even if your eyeglasses are crooked, and men, I don't even know what to say about y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I have one for y'all. <laughs> Y'all a little more simple, but the same concept nonetheless. So, um, and when I say simple, I ain't saying simple and let me leave that alone. <laughs> let me leave the men alone. It's all good. It's all good. And that's what I'm here to say. You're all good. It's all good. It's all good. If something off, when you know, recognize that it's off, just fix it and keep it moving it takes away from nothing it don't take away from the way god see you it don't take good shouldn't take away from the way you see yourself you know we're human too and i say too because we're spiritual first but we're human as well and therefore we're gonna have some little human stuff quirks i'm hearing quirks we have quirks we have flaws you know, we make mistakes. We fall short. Look, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God, even though it's not that deep for what I'm talking about. But it still makes the point that you're going to fall short a little bit. As long as you're doing your best and you're showing up in your best self and doing what God asks you to do. Sometimes, like I was saying before, you ain't feeling the best, but God's still saying go. You still got to show up. So the fact you're showing up, whatever, however you're showing up is your best. Because you pressed in spite of. So that's what matters the most. Just show up and do what God is telling you to do. And if something is a little off or something ain't perfect, so what? So be it. It's okay. God still loves you. I still love you. And whoever is for you and those people that are supposed to be there in your life, 
they're going to still love you too. And if they don't, they probably not supposed to be in your life. You probably need to let them go. You shouldn't want anybody that's not for you in your life. That's a whole nother subject matter that I need to speak on. Anybody that's not for you shouldn't be there. So those people that do that don't matter. They, they shouldn't be in your life. And if they are, <laughs> you need to get them out of your life. Because, mm -mm. And I'm not talking about constructive criticism. Constructive criticism or correction is done in love and it's not a tear down. You know, it's not uh uh it wouldn't even make you feel small. Not that and I'm speaking to those who feel a certain kind of way about these things. It don't feel so good when people are doing that and you're aware. You have to free yourself from that. But what I was saying was when someone is giving you correction, offering correction from a place of love, you're going to feel the difference. That's what I'm trying to say. Anybody trying to tell you down, if you're in a place where you're not delivered from people and what they think, you're going to feel torn down. If you are delivered from what people say and think, you're just going to know that they're trying to tear you down. You won't feel torn down because you know who you are and you know what they're doing. But you're going to notice what they're trying to do. Either way, those are people that should not be in your life. And what matters is what God said. Show up. Do what he's telling you to do. You are his masterpiece. I'm going to read that again, y'all. This is Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Okay, so do what he planned for you long ago. Show up as his masterpiece. Even, even if something a little bit off, you're still his masterpiece, mainly because you showed up to do the work, do what he's telling you to do. And um, I just want to add this before I go. Sometimes I don't know the scriptures properly. I know the scriptures, but I don't always know them verbatim. So sometimes I mix them up. I did it not long ago in a video, and I was talking about Sodom and Gomorrah, and I was like trying to remember the name of the city, <laughs> but the cities was got Sodom and Gomorrah. Of course, I looked it up later, and that's why I encourage you all to look it up too. Study to show your self-approval. Go check these things out for yourself if you don't already know. And um, I was thinking Babylon, and I'm like, that's because I was just reading about something about that not long ago. I'm reading about Babylonian and what had transpired with them. And I had just got myself mixed up. But I know Sodom and Gomorrah. I was just mixed up. My point is sometimes I, chop the, I be chopping up them scriptures. But I know what they are and I know what I'm talking about. I know what they mean. And so... Um, some people are really good at memorizing them and I know some verbatim, those ones that I know, but that's just not my thing. And I'm saying all this to say, sometimes I'll be chopping them scriptures up. What I'm saying is that I'm not always perfect when I'm sharing a scripture. These days, I'm trying more to, <laughs> like I did today, have a scripture with me, but sometimes it comes to me while I'm talking. So when it comes to me while I'm talking, if I don't know a verbatim, I'm just going to give you what I got. I'm just going to show up and be God's masterpiece and do his work. Even if I'm chopping up them scriptures, even if I'm not saying it perfect. You feel me? So I think that point has been made. So I just encourage you to know you are God's masterpiece. Even if some off, even if Listen, it don't matter. Don't mind those folks. Just know what it is, why it is. See, that's what's important. When you know why people doing what they doing to try to tear you down, that's an indication to you that you on point. Because you don't try to tear them down, nobody down that ain't being built up or are built up. I'm just saying, I say this a lot, but I, it's the truth. It's the truth. 
Got that from my cousin Becky. Shout out to you, cousin Becky. Anyway. I'm going to go with that, you all. I'm going to leave that right there. I didn't even mean for this to be that long of a video. It just kind of hit me. I was doing what I was doing to do what I was getting ready to do. And when I was getting ready to get out the car to go do what I was going to do. <laughs> Holy Spirit, see, wait. <laughs> I need you to drop this beat. I need you to drop this word. I need you to drop this message. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so anyway, y'all. I'm going to go with that. If you are interested in any of the services that I provide, all that information is right down below in the description box. Um, yeah, please like this video if it resonates with you or if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And share the video. Comment if you would like. Yeah, and again, thank you for viewing my videos. I love you all so very much. And I really appreciate you, by, you guys being here with me. For real, for real. And so, yeah. Much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all. Y'all, that's my time. Jesus, girl, she is out. Peace.